Hello everyone, welcome to the first canoe trip of the year. Um, we are here in Kawartha Highlands Park. I'm doing the Long Lake Loop. It's a much shorter loop than the Big Trout Loop I did in Algonquin last year. But this time around, we are uh, focusing on fishing. I really want to catch a lake trout, so we are on a bunch of lakes that have lake trout in them. So hopefully, I can get one into the canoe this time. Uh, last year, I went on a little backcountry trip and uh, I tried, but I did not succeed. So hopefully, we can knock this off the list this year. Never caught one, so that is the goal. But anyways, even if we don't, it's good to get out here. Uh, it was a long winter that was mild, but kind of just crappy for doing outdoor things, at least winter-wise, so I'm glad the weather is finally warming up and it's time to get out canoe camping, truck camping, all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna check back in with you guys on uh, either the next portage or maybe when I bring a fish in the boat. All right, guys, I just finished the first portage. Uh, just a quick 100 meter portage, nothing serious, just a little warm up, which I kind of needed, because it is chilly today. I had to stop and put on my jacket earlier. Um, the wa wind coming off of the water here is pretty chilly. The water's super cold, so I definitely won't be going swimming anytime soon. But uh, we're actually almost to the lake I'm gonna camp at tonight, so just gotta paddle down this creek, and uh, we'll be there. Alright guys, I've just stopped here for a quick lunch. I've already uh, trolled around the whole lake. I got my first catch of the trip. We got a fish. I think we got a fish. Oh my god. It's a big one. It's a big one. Wow, first catch of the year, guys. Ooh, that's chilly. I was so excited. Yeah, definitely not what I was looking for. And I've either hooked on to the most sticks I've ever caught in one day, or I've missed a couple fish, because I had similar things happen twice, and they came off just before I got it to the boat, but it wasn't fighting back, so I think it was sticks. Anyways, this is my campsite I'm supposed to be staying at tonight. Um, I'm kind of on the fence right now. It is just about 1 o'clock, and I've already trolled the whole lake, and I kind of want to just knock out the portage tonight and just camp at the next lake and kind of have like a more relaxed time over there and focus on fishing that lake. I'm still undecided. I'm going to think about it here while I eat, but uh, I don't know. I just want to keep going. <laughs> I really want to get that portage out of the way and kind of just be out there. There's a couple cabins on this lake and I just, I want to be away from it all. So anyways, I'll have lunch and we'll uh, figure it out after that. There we go.
All right, guys, it's been a minute since I last updated you. I, uh, I ended up doing that portage. Um, it was a 1.3K portage, so a good one, and uh, very hilly here in uh, Kawartha Highlands. I um, did the canoe in two tries, which is a couple minute break in between, but it, it kicked my ass. I was shaking by the time I had to put the canoe down. But yeah, anyways, I've just been uh, trolling around Cherry Lake and Triangle Lake, just checking out the campsites and the checking out the lake and uh, on my way to the campsite I was gonna stay at all of a sudden my rod bent over sideways we got a fish <laughs> it's better not be a stick this time no it's shaking oh yeah oh man my heart is pounding Oh my God. Yo, 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 no, he's wrapped in the net. He's wrapped in the net. Oh. oh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. No way. No way. Oh, man, that went so bad. Dude, I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Okay. I was starting to get doubts that I may even catch one on this trip. No way. My first lake trout. Oh, my God, that's a beautiful fish. That is so cool. Oh my God. Oh my God. Whew. Yes. This is a successful trip now. Looks like we're having some uh, lake trout for dinner as well. So cool. All right, guys, I have uh, got camp pretty much set up now. Uh, collected some firewood, got the fire started, and then uh, I set up my tent there. Uh, if you notice, I got a new air mattress and pillow. The pillow, like, it gets down smaller than my fist, basically, when it's packed down. And then uh, the mattress, it's a lot better than the other one I had before. It was just uh, it was a sale self-inflator one. I got it for the time being, because honestly, 
I had to buy so much gear to get started. So I, I kind of just got what I was able to afford. And uh, this year I upgraded that in the pillow to try and get my pack downsized a little bit so it can be more organized and uh, a little lighter. And then uh, also I just want to be a little bit more comfortable. So we upgraded those. I'd also like to upgrade the tent this year. So if any of you guys have any um, tents you would like to suggest for me, uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm also kind of thinking about uh, a hammock too. Uh, I, I'm not really sure, but uh, definitely want to upgrade that a little bit. Um, when it's really hot, I get a lot of moisture buildup in there. So anyways, um, I'm going to clean up my trout and uh, we're going to get to cooking. All right guys, here is my lake trout. I cooked it a little long just to make sure it was cooked. Um, yeah, it looks great. I've never cleaned a lake trout before, so I kind of made a mess of it at first, but so much meat on this. Uh, definitely could have brought some lemon or something but I kind of forgot when I was at the grocery store. Honestly, so many hours went into just trying to catch this fish. Um, not only is it not the first time I tried, but uh, just hours of checking like the fishing regulations, which lakes had them, which lakes were stocking them. And uh, yeah, to actually make it happen is so awesome. I was getting a little concerned that I would come out here and it not happen. And for it to happen on day one, I get to eat it like, just made it over the fire. So awesome that to make your ideas come to fruition and also catch a new species. All right guys, I've crawled into the tent for the night. Um, sat by the fire for a bit, kind of looked at the map, to make a game plan as I've kind of moved my uh, trip forward by skipping a lake. Um, normally you can't do that and I probably shouldn't be doing it, but um, because there's, there's literally no one in the park right now. It's the opening week and I did run into two people today because it was Saturday or Sunday morning, but everyone was heading out. But other than that, I don't think there's literally anyone camping right now in this area. So um, I already knew the sites weren't booked. That's why I went ahead and did it. But otherwise, I would not have done it. Anyways, yeah, awesome day. I still can't believe I caught that lake trout. I've watched back the clip a couple times. Just I was so excited. <laughs> I'm still so happy about it. But oh, I literally just didn't think it was gonna happen and for for it to actually happen I'm just pumped anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, until next time just keep going one day at a time